Hey everyone, I'm 17-year-old writer Noah Barfield, and welcome to Weekly Inspirations. I'm about to go hiking, but I figured I might as well do one of these videos really quick. Okay, so what has been inspiring me this week? Well, among other things, forefront, like in my thoughts there, we have robots, zombies, superpowers, and aliens. All four of those, in conjunction, are inspiring me. Because I have been, I recently finished a TV show, Falling Skies. I'm watching The Walking Dead, things like The Flash, and I have just been inspired. Now, does that mean that I'm trying to create a story where they all fit together and it actually works? Yes, it does. Because commonly, people will take a very comedic approach to something like. A story with aliens, robots, zombies, and super-powered people in it. But I want to try and take a serious approach to it. Now, some things that have inspired me um, with in that area, well, there's one, there's one novel called X Heroes, which is a serious take on superheroes in the zombie apocalypse, unlike Marvel zombies or whatever they did. So that has inspired me somewhat. And also a serious take on people with superpowers, and one that's a little more grim and what I'm going for is the video game series Infamous, how that's kind of laid out, how it's grim and they're kind of shunned, and it's it's something that's new and not hasn't really occurred all that much. So those have been inspiring me on that, and as I've said, Falling Skies is huge with the alien thing. Now, how do you take something like that, like... How do, you, how do you combine aliens and robots and zombies and superpowers and all that, and it doesn't seem laughable? Well, you have to make sure that you, you don't spend so much time focusing on, yes, this is aliens and robots and zombies and all of that. You, you, have, to, you have to focus more on the characters, because if you even point out like a little bit how ridiculous it seems, people are going to find it ridiculous, and that's true with any story. You need to make sure that the suspension of disbelief is is top notch and because you know people people are going to you know if they read they might read a book and you know it might be a standard fantasy swords magic in this time maybe dragons or something but if you just think to yourself for a moment this is ridiculous people can't use magic dragons don't even exist komodo dragons don't count what you 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 have to create that suspension of disbelief and immerse them in the world. And I, that's what I really want to do. That's like a real test for me to try and see how well I can immerse someone in this grim, intense world where all these ludicrous things are happening. So that's what's inspiring me. And I encourage you guys to, all of you out there, to take a look at some things that people might consider ludicrous or um, insane, you know, laughable, if they were all mixed together and try and do it in a serious, intense manner. Like, yes, okay, this is unicorns versus the cyborg armada, but let's see what happens whenever it's done seriously with actual effort. It's a great way to push yourself as a writer, and also, it really gets the creative juices flowing of like, how can I do this to where it's actually done well? Because a lot of people can do it where it's a joke, but it takes a really skilled writer to take something that would commonly be a joke and to make it a serious, effortful, impactful, good work. So I encourage all of you out there to do that and to see and read and play some things that have zombies and aliens and robots and superpower people in them because they're hugely inspiring me and um, just the thought of like explosions and science <laughs> with, with aliens and just the mechanics of robotics, just all of that combining with the possibility of a dystopian element in sci-fi, it just really has my juices flowing, and I would think that that would be really cool to do. So let me know what's inspiring you. You know, Feel free to contact me at my website, www.arc-storm.com, that's with the hyphen. Leave a comment below, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and continue to enjoy.